questions for this morning. By the grace of God, we'll be looking at the topic, Righteous Sons of God. Topic one more time, the Righteous Sons of God. Under the series, Candidate of Great Exploit, Hosh Mahombras of K. Text taken from the book of Psalm chapter 5 from verse 8 down to 12. But let's pray for the Father. We've come to hear from you this morning. We are speaking to us and grant us understanding. Said in Second Peter 1 3, according to divine power, you've given us all things that pertain to life and godliness through the knowledge of your word. We come to seek the knowledge of your word this morning. Grant us understanding indeed and grace to become doers of your word. For in Jesus' name we pray. Topic one more time The righteous sons of God under the series candidate of great exploit. Host Muhammad's have look at key text taken from the book of Psalm chapter 5 from verse 8, standard 12. I read from verse 8. Lead me, O God, in thy righteousness because of my enemies. Make my way straight before my face. And verse 11 said, But let all those that put their trust in thee, in thee rejoice. Let them ever shout for joy, because thou defendest them. Let them also that love thy name be joyful indeed. And it was two of the last verse said, For thou, Lord, who bless the righteous. I take that again for emphasis. For thou, Lord, who bless the righteous with favor without compassing as with a shield. See this favor being our portion in Jesus' name. May the Lord bless his word and grant us understanding in Jesus' name. We'll look at further reading. Genesis chapter 7, from verse 1 down to 23. I'll skip some verses. And the Lord said unto Noah, Come down on all thy house into the ark, for thee have I seen righteous before me in this generation. I pray in this generation of corruption, in this generation of wickedness, God will single you out for his righteousness in Jesus' name. Said in verse 2 of every clean beast thou shalt take to thee by seven, the male and his female, and the beast shall not claim by two, the male and his female. For yet seven days, in verse 4, I will cause it to rain upon the head forty days and forty nights, and every living substance I have made will I destroy from off the face of the earth. And of course, of course God did that, and in verse 5, and Noah did according unto all that the Lord commanded him. He built the ark that God asked him to, and Noah was six hundred years old when the flood of water was upon the earth. So it's never too old to be righteous. It's just the right thing to do. I pray the grace to live a righteous life will be a portion in Jesus' name. You can complete that scripture down to verse 23. We saw that the rain fell for some couple of months, kept on falling. And we had about 15 cubit height that the water prevailed above the mountain. So everything died. And of course, Genesis chapter 6 verse 9 also, the testimony about him. That he was a righteous man, talking about Noah. Of course, Genesis chapter 17, from verse 5 down to 9. And when Abraham was 90 years old and 9, the Lord appeared to him and said unto him, I am the Almighty God. Walk before me and be thou what? Be thou perfect. You can put righteous there. Walk before me and be thou righteous. And of course, in verse 2, and I will make my covenant between me and thee, and I will multiply thee. Excellent. Talking about great export. And in verse 5, neither shall thy name any more become Abraham, but thy name shall be called Abraham, for a father of many nations I have made thee. So when you walk in righteousness, you have a changed name from God, and that changed name begins to manifest. And in verse 6, and I will make thee exceeding fruitful, talking about great exploit. And I will make nations of thee, and kings shall come out of thee. And I will establish my covenant between me and thee, verse 7, and thy seed after thee in this generation, for an everlasting covenant to be a God unto thee, and to thy seed after thee. He said, and I will give thee, verse 8, and to thy seed after thee, the land wherein thou art stranger. Or the land of the king of an everlasting possession, and I will be their God. I see God being your God by the reason of your righteousness in Jesus' name. And in verse 9, and the Lord said unto Abraham, Thou shalt keep my covenant, therefore, thou and thy seed after in the generation. I pray, I pray, your righteousness will bring before you heaven's open blessings in Jesus' name, and I will set you as a candidate for great exploit indeed in Jesus' name. Psalm chapter 7, from verse 8 down to 9, the Lord shall judge the people. Judge me, O Lord, according to my righteousness and according to my integrity that is in me. Verse 9 says, Oh, let the wicked, let the wickedness of the wicked come to an end, but establish the just for the righteous God. Try the heart and reign. Psalm 146, verse 8 said, The Lord openeth the eyes of the blind, the Lord rises them that bow down, the Lord loveth the righteous. The Lord will love the righteous. When you live righteous, you're going to become the beloved of the Lord. And imagine you being the beloved of the Lord. That means you can't lack anything. That means great exploit 
will be your new name. And I see that be your portion in Jesus' name. Proverbs chapter 3, 32 down to 35. From the forward is abomination to the Lord, but his secret is with the righteous. You want to know the secret to the top? Then be a righteous man. 33 said, The cause of the Lord is in the house of the wicked, but the blessed, the habitation of the just. Said in verse 35, The wise shall inherit glory. Talking about the righteous shall inherit what? Glory. For shame shall be the promotion of fools. Proverbs chapter 3, chapter 10, verse 3. Also saying, The Lord will not suffer the soul of the righteous to famish, for he cast it away the sons of the wicked. You want God to preserve the blessings he has given you, then be righteous. As Paul said, he become a poor that delayed to the slack hand, but he that diligently make it rich. And complete that scripture down to verse 11, verse 9 said, He that walketh uprightly, you walketh surely. That means you are setting of being a great exploiter. You are setting of arriving at the top when you walk uprightly before the Lord. Isaiah 45, verse 13, I have raised him up in righteousness. You want to be raised up, then be a righteous man said, I have raised him up in righteousness and I will direct all his ways. He shall build my city and he shall let go my captives and not for price, nor reward, said the Lord of hosts. That will be your portion in Jesus' name. First Peter 3 12. For the eyes of the Lord is upon over the righteous, for the eyes of the Lord is over the righteous, and his ears are open unto their prayers. And I see this being a portion in Jesus' name. Topic one more time. The righteous sons of God, and that is serious candidate of great exploit, host my almost of the key text taken from Psalm 5 8 down to 12. We read that before the reading Genesis 7 1 to 23, Genesis 6 9, Genesis 17 5 to 9, Psalm 7 8 to 9, Psalm 146 8, Proverb 3 32 35, Proverb 10 3 to 8 to 11, Isaiah 45 verse 13, and 1 Peter chapter 3 verse 12. Please, at your leisure time, you can read all of this Bible passage again, and I'm sure. God will speak to you and you be blessed through them in Jesus' name. Thinking cap, a mind blowing word for this morning is God's righteousness on men is a seal of great exploit anytime and anywhere. I think that again, God's righteousness on men is a seal of great exploit anytime and anywhere. Think about this. Today we'll look at the topic, the righteousness, the righteous sons of God, and a teaching series on candidates of great exploit. By way of introduction, let's understand that righteousness indeed exalts. Righteousness is never a decrement, but an addition. Its value, its value can't be quantified or ignored, but must be exploited at the end. All true scriptures, righteousness, will always naturally prevail in esteem, value, and greatness. As such, we shall learn about the subject of being the righteous sons of God and how to live righteous in this corrupt world that we are in for our great exploit benefit. And I see you having great exploit benefits to show you need in Jesus' name. Psalm chapter 75, verse 10 said, All the horns of the wicked also will I cut off, for the horns of the righteous shall be exalted. You want to be exalted to the top of the top, then be righteous. Proverbs chapter 14, from verse 34, 35 said, Righteousness exalt a nation, but see, is a reproach to any people. So the king favor is towards a wise servant. That means God's favor is towards a righteous man. I see you being righteous. When heaven is counting the list of righteous people, I see you being enlisted among that in Jesus and the grace for righteousness. I pray will come upon us afresh in Jesus' name. Second Timothy chapter 2 from verse 19, 22 said, Nevertheless, the foundation of God stand sure, having the seal. The Lord knoweth them that he is, and let everyone that name in the name of Christ depart from iniquity. Said in verse 20, But in the great house there is not only vessels of gold and of silver, but also of wood and of earth, and some to honor, and some to dishonor. Said, If any man therefore purge himself from this, he shall be a vessel unto what honor, sanctify and meet for the master's youth, and pre prepared unto every good work. Said, Flee also, youthful loss in verse 22, but follow after righteousness. Follow after what righteousness as the foundation. Follow after faith, follow after charity, peace, for them that are calling you with a pure heart. I see you having a testimony of a righteous man, the same way Noah, the same way Abraham, the same way Elijah had, and the same way Christ had, Paul the Apostle have in Jesus' name. Very quickly, we'll be trying to look at the subtopic, what makes one candidate for great exploit? And we saw three points so far. The first point, we saw that the redeemed born against sons of God are candidate of great exploit. And of course, for one to become a candidate, he must be a student of God's word. We saw another point yesterday. He or she must be a faith-filled saint of God. He or she must be a what? A faith-filled saint of God. Please, you can reference all the teaching series on this platform. And you'll be blessed in Jesus' name. Today, take us further. We're looking at the fourth point. What makes one a candidate for great exploit? Very simple. 
the righteous sons of God. That means the righteousness of God make one candidate for great exploit. The righteousness of God make one candidate for great exploit. These are sons of God who are righteous and holy before God, amen, and are committed to promoting God's faithfulness on this earth. In Genesis chapter 39, from verse 7 down to 16, talking about Joseph, a righteous man, a man of integrity who could not sleep with his master's wife, despite she desiring him all because of the righteous nature that was on him. I pray that dimension of grace will come upon us afresh this morning in Jesus' name. You can read that story. Genesis chapter 39, from verse 7 down to 11. Because Psalm chapter 5 from verse 8 down to 12 said, Lead me, O God, in thy righteousness because of my enemies. Make thy way straight before my face. He said, But let all those who put their trust in thee rejoice. Let them ever shout for joy because thou defendest them. Let them also that love thy name be joyful in thee. For thou, Lord, who bless the righteous with favor, would thou compass him as with a shield. That will be our portion in Jesus and first Peter chapter 3. Verse 12, we read that earlier on. Still talking about the blessing of God. He said, For the eyes of the Lord are all poor, are over the righteous, and his ears are open unto their prayers. For the face of the Lord is against them that do evil. He said, For the eyes of the Lord is over the righteous, and his ears is open to hear their petition, is open to hear their prayer. I see God hearing all your heart cry in Jesus' name. More to all we've said. These also are men of truth who love God and righteousness and are living same as a lifestyle. Of course, in Genesis chapter 7, from verse 1 down to 23 also, you can read the story on how righteousness was being able to raise God's children. Of course, in the same uh, Genesis chapter 6 verse 9, still talking about Noah, how God testified that he was the only righteous man in that generation and God preserved his generation. Look at Genesis chapter 17, 5 down to 19, God telling Abraham, walk be thou before me, walk before me, and be thou righteous. And of course, we saw Abraham live before God, and he was righteous, and God blessed him. And today, people pray that Abraham blessing should be theirs. And in Isaiah chapter 45, verse 13, said, I have raised him up in righteousness, and I have directed all his ways. He shall build my city, and he shall let go my captives, not for a price, not for a reward, said the Lord of hosts. Second Timothy 2 19 to 22 in a great house, the only vessel of, of gold or silver, of course, of earth also is there. Some to honor and some to dishonor. Said, If any man purge himself from this, he shall be a vessel of honor, sanctified and made for the master's use. And I see that being a portion in Jesus' name. In some of all, I'm trying to say we're looking at what makes one candidate for good export, and it's simply the righteousness of God. The righteousness of who? The righteousness of God makes one candidate for great exploit. We went for that cities are sons of God who are righteous and holy before God and men and are committed to promoting God's faithfulness on this age. You can read Genesis chapter 39 from verse 7 to 16, Psalm 5, 8 to 12, and 1 Peter 3, verse 12. More to say, these also are men of truth who love God and love righteousness and are living same as a lifestyle and certainly they will emerge as great exploiters. On this earth, and I see you being enlisted in this army in Jesus' name. You can read Genesis chapter 7, from verse 1 to 23. Genesis chapter 6, verse 9, talking about the story of Noah. Genesis chapter 17, 5 to 9, talking about the story of Abraham. Isaiah 45, verse 13. Second Timothy 2, 19 to 22. Lastly, beloved, let's know that living a righteous life guarantees great exploit in life. However, before one could live in righteousness, he must have the spirit of righteousness in him and that's the spirit of God and of course the spirit of God only comes from those who have accepted Jesus to be their Lord and your Savior and that's why he said in Ezekiel chapter 36 from verse 25 down to 27 said I'll put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my ways so it is the spirit of God in you that causes you to walk in the way of the Lord and I'll forget second Timothy 2 19 22 said nevertheless the foundation of God standeth sure having this seed so if you want that foundation, said the Lord, know them that he is, and let everyone that in the name of Christ depart from iniquity. Said in verse 20, when the great house, the only vessel of gold and silver, for so of wood and some of earth, and some to honor, some to dishonor. But I see you being that of honor in Jesus' name. Said, if therefore any man put himself from this, he shall be a vessel unto honor, sanctified and made for the masters you can prepare for every good work. That just is the name of Christ, and redeem us from the cause of love being made a cause for it is written. 
causes everyone that hang it on the tree that the blessing of Abraham may come on the Gentiles through Jesus Christ. You want to say yes to Jesus. I want to place your hand on your chest and repeat this prayer after me. Lord Jesus, I come to you this morning as a sinner. I know I for sure that you're glory. I know if you come right now, I'm going to miss heaven. But I've come this morning to confess my sins. I've sinned against you. Forgive me my sins. Wash me with your blood and purify me. Grant me grace to live in righteousness all the days of my life. The same way you clothe Daniel with the garment of righteousness. Clothe me with the garment of righteousness and help me to live righteous in this corrupt generation, this corrupt world that we are in. For in Jesus' name, Amen. Congratulations to you if you pray that prayer. We take two prayers and shut down first prayer. Father, empower my life and spirit with your righteousness and make me a commander of great exploit in Jesus' name. Let's take that prayer again. Say, Father, empower my life and spirit with your righteousness and make me a commander of great exploit on this earth in Jesus' name. Psalm 25, verse 8 said, Lead me, O God, O Lord, in thy righteousness because of my enemies. Make thy way straight before my face. With this understanding, let's pray, Father, empower my life and spirit with your righteousness and make me a commander of great exploit in this earth in Jesus' name. Thank you for hearing me. Last prayer, Father, and by your righteousness upon many saints in Nigeria, thereby causing them to represent heaven personality of righteousness on this earth for great exploit accomplishment in Jesus' name. Proverbs 14, verse 34, said righteousness exalts the nation, but sin is a reproach. Misunderstanding, I pray, Father, and by your righteousness upon many saints in Nigeria, yeah, by causing them to represent heaven personality on this earth for great exploit and of course drawing men to your kingdom in Jesus name Father and by your righteousness upon many saints in Nigeria thereby cause them to represent heaven personality of righteousness on this earth for great exploit and for bringing many souls to your kingdom thank you for hearing us for Jesus now we pray join me pray this prayer share this gospel and be blessed from intercession we should God blesses you tomorrow I pray that this day shall be a day of course favor and goodness for you in Jesus name God bless you